Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and we're still prepping over here for the non-calculator section of the GED. They love problems that make you conceptualize negatives, conceptualize distance, conceptualize uh, fractions. So all of those things show up in this one problem here. So let's get to it. It says, what is the distance between two and a half and negative three and a half on a number line? Now, I can just draw this out, and I highly recommend that for anybody who struggles with fractions or with negatives, because that'll help us to see this. Uh, make sure you have your zero down on your number line here, so we can see that two and a half would be one, two, and not quite three units away, it would be two and a half units away from zero on a number line. And let's see, I might not have made my number line long enough. Let's get a longer tail on that other side because I got to get three and a half away on this side. One, two, three, and not quite four, so negative three and a half away. Now, I had a lot of students who told me these two numbers are five apart and you were so close, but let's go ahead and count. And go ahead and count. Let me pull out another color here so we can really see. We have some whole units here, you know, one, two, three, four, five whole units, but then I have these two halves on either side. Well, guys, two halves make one whole. So now let's count that up. That isn't five. That's one, two, three, four, five, and the two halves together make a whole. That's actually six units or two and a half units plus three and a half units. A half and a half make one whole, two and three make five, and of course five and one gives me six. And I do end up with six units away on a number line. Now, some of you guys are like, Kate, do I really need to draw a number line? No, you don't. Distance is synonymous with difference. You can just subtract the two numbers, but do make sure, remember, di uh, difference is always positive, distance is always positive, so you'll wanna start with the bigger number. Two and a half is bigger since it's positive. So starting with two and a half, subtract out negative three and one half. And you can see that the opposite of subtraction, if we have two minuses in a row, you absolutely have to know that the opposite of subtraction or two minuses in a row does turn into addition. So then two and a half plus three and a half. And again, that would give me six. So you can do it mathematically, uh, you know, with numbers you can do it pictorially here with your diagram but you do need to see that negative three and a half and two and a half are six units apart on the number line all right if you have any questions about this or any other ged math topic be sure to drop it in the comments and i'll do my best to answer it